So there are two other tiny little tweaks that I thought would just be nice to have before we move off to this onto phase three. One of them is that it'd be nice if I could just generate a level and have the random number generator seed just auto increment so I get a new little level. So I can just click this until I find a nice obstacle layout that I want before I save it. So that's one of them. That's pretty easy to do. Let's just go to where we ge click generate the map here. And then after we've done everything, added the obstacles, let's just increment the seed by one. So we can use the set seed method that we have. And we're gonna go RNG plus one. So we'll set it to one more, not RNG, RNG, RNG seed plus one. Uh, so we'll set it to one more than itself. Now, the problem we have here is it's going to be doing it. You can see it's changing the seed, uh, but it doesn't update it here in the inspector. That's annoying. So we actually have to add one more thing here, which is a method called properly list change notify. Uh, so by default, the editor will propagate changes you make here into your scene or script or whatever, but it doesn't go the other way unless you call that method. So now that I did it, uh, you'll see that the random number generator seed is being updated from our script the other way. Okay, uh, the other thing that would be nice is when I find a level, boom, 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 and I save it, that the number at the end of the level name uh, just increment so I can go, oh, I like that level, save it. Oh, I like that level, save it, right? So let's uh, let's just add that little feature in there too. Um, but to start, I'm gonna go back to the game. I'm gonna delete this level, empty out our generated levels. Ooh, I gotta make sure I save the game here after I've deleted that. Delete these, good. Okay, so let's go back to the level generator script and again, when we save, set save level here, after we've saved everything, we want to increment that level. So we have a level name here. So let's go, let's go level name. And let's create a new method and we'll call it increment string. And it's just gonna be a method that's gonna take a string and if it ends in a number, it'll increment that number. You know, that might be useful for some other things in the future and we'll just create it underneath here so it's going to be called increment level make sure copy and paste right copy and paste and it might be anything so I'm just gonna put string here and we'll give it a type hint of string and just to get this working we'll go return new string plus one <laughs> that's not that's not doing anything but uh, uh, we'll just uh, make sure this level name is actually getting updated in the spe inspector. So we're gonna have to do that property list change notify thing here as well, once we've updated the level name. So let's go, let's go here and just, uh, we'll reset that. And then when I save, yeah, it updated it to new string plus one. Now we wanna actually make that work. So imagine that we had a thing called, let's call it, uh, since we're calling them navigation maps, I'm gonna go nav map one, right? So somehow we need a way to parse this. Uh, it could also be nav map 23. We need a way to parse this to get any number that's on the end. And we're gonna use a really simple regular expression. Uh, this I'm not gonna give a lesson on regular expressions. Uh, we'll go through it. If you want to learn more about them, you should go look something up. So we're going to create a new regular expression object. And from that object, we're going to compile a new regex string here. And what that's going to be is we're going to go backslash D, which is any numerical digit. Plus means one or more of them and then the dollar sign means at the end of the string. So if there are one or more digits at the end of the string, get them. That's basically what this is saying. Now, in Godot, you need to escape all the backslashes. So I'm just gonna have to add a second backslash there. 
Um, and if you want to play around with regular expressions, uh, I'll put a link to a website where you can basically push this, punch this in, and then type in some sample text, like you could punch this in, and it will show you whether it's matching it or finding it or not. Uh, and it'll help you seek out typos. And it also has a lots more info there about new symbols and what you can do and what they mean. Okay, so now we're going to use that regex, that regular expression. We'll have a new variable called result, and we'll say the result equals the regex.search. And so what's that going to do? We're going to pass it a string, which in our case is actually just called string here. String. We're going to pass it that variable, and it's going to search the contents of that variable, the string in that variable, and see if it can find any of these this pattern. And to get the number, we can go num var num equals result dot get string. Because we're looking for a match at the end of the line, um, there's only ever going to be one of them. So we can use this get string. Sorry, that's a method. Get string, and by default, it's just going to we're we're only expecting one, so we'll get it. Uh, if it, we're, we were expecting more, you might be you might pass it an index in here, but we're not we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so at this point, num is going to be equal to the number. So let's let's use map 23 as an example. At this point, it's going to equal 23, uh, but it's not going to be the number 23. It's going to be a string representation of 23 at this point. So what we can do is we can go return. We want to return our string. Uh, but we want to remove this from the end of it. And it's actually easy to do. There's a built-in string method called trim, trim, suffix. And what suffix do we want to trim? We want to trim this. So we'll pass it that 23. In our example case, it could be any number. And it will remove it. And then what we want to do is we want to add back the number plus 1. Right? Okay. <laughs> but this is actually the string 23, and this is a number. So we need to convert the number, the string representation of 23 back into a number. So now it'll be actually 23 plus 1. Okay, 24. Um, but now uh, we have to convert 24 back into a string so we can connect it to the that part. Okay, so now let's convert it back to a string. Apologies if this is uh, a bit confusing here. Let's, we should not get errors now. Um, I think that's null. We don't want null. Let's go new level one, save it. Are we getting errors? We're not getting errors. Okay, that's good. Um, and what happens if we click it? Oh, new level two, it worked. Three, four, that's awesome. Um, uh, okay, so uh, just to be clear about what's going on here, say this was the number 23. It's starting out as 23, right there, the string representation. And then the first thing we do is we convert it to an integer. So it's going to that. And then we're adding 1 to it. So we're going 1, and it's going to that. And then we're wrapping all that in the string method. So finally, it's going back to that. And then we take that 24 string representation and plop it back onto whatever was there. Um, that's working. Uh, except for one problem, of course, um, if we don't have a number on the end, it's going to bork. It's going to give us an error. So let's just handle the case where there is no number at the end. And if this search method doesn't find a match, it's going to be a falsy value of some sort. We could probably search it up here uh, and my switching to 3.3 <laughs> has changed my uh, oh man changed my hotkeys so I'm gonna have to go fix that again editor settings shortcuts search nope what was it called contextual help there it is uh, control oh I already changed it control shift f1 okay so let's go control shift F1. There it is, regex search. Uh, otherwise null. Okay, so that's a falsy value. So we should just be, we should be able to go, um, we'll say var num equals, <laughs> we'll start it at 
zero how about and then we can go if result so if we actually found a match because there already was a number then we're going to want to go get it I don't want to redeclare the number variable though so we'll get it it'll now be 23 and it'll do the same thing it was doing before but this time if there was no number it's going to say it's zero it'll add one to it and then it'll add a one to the end right I'm not sure what's going to happen if we try and trim the suffix with something that doesn't exist there I assume it's going to do nothing let's test it out okay new level nothing let's hit it yay it added a one to it okay good I think we have it I think we have let's level generator I'm going to click till I get a nice seed that I like sure I like that one I'm gonna bake the nav mesh um, go back to my level generator I want to call these nav map and I'll start it with number one I want to delete all these though let's get rid of all this garbage and start generating levels. Okay, I like that level. You can see them start appearing here, and I can go boop, 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 till I find another one I like. Nice and open in the middle. Bake it, and save it. Maybe next level is going to be a little bigger. We can generate a level we like. Sure. Bake it. Save it. We have three levels. We can go into our game. Can drop in level one. There we go.